the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat, and you're probably wondering why this video is so shaky right now. Well, it's because I'm using a 60-year-old lens. It's got no stabilization whatsoever. But I thought I'd give it a try. I mean, it's kind of neat looking. It's got like a blue tint to the whatever they coated the lens with. Kind of cool. 35 millimeter lens. Huh. Is that better? Yeah. Uh. I want to apologize to everybody who is regular on the channel. I mean, you guys come to every single video, and I know I haven't been putting the videos out over the last week. It's just hard to find the motivation when you know you've been siloed. A term that's used, I don't know if that's an official term, but essentially it means that uh, YouTube and Google have limited your reach. So I know that no matter what I put on this channel, it's not going to reach more than you know, maybe a couple hundred people at most, and under the best of circumstances. And uh, it's really frustrating. You know, I, I, it was a long, hard slog to get this thing into the partner program, the channel, I mean. And uh, if I were asked by someone, was it worth it to get into the partner program? And I'd say, no, <laughs> there's no way. I mean, I, uh, I might have gotten a couple hundred bucks over the entire time that I've been in the partner program. And if I were to compare that against the cost of, let's say, the equipment that I'm using right now, the uh, the camera, the a7 IV, the lenses that we've bought for it, of course I do other things with it, so thank goodness for that. But um, let's see, 200 compared to like $4,000 for camera equipment. Um, Oh, how about the time that I've spent, you know, editing videos, putting them together? Definitely not uh, not worth it at all uh, when you look at it that way. Now, I've learned a lot. I mean, I've gotten a lot better at putting videos together and fixing colors and doing all of that. At least I'd like to think so. You guys will have to tell me if you think that the, the video quality looks good. I don't know what it's going to look like with this lens because it has no autofocus. So as I move... Yeah, a little bit here and there. It probably goes out of focus, but uh, and it doesn't try to catch up to me. I have to kind of sit still for that to work. But that's my fault for using this ancient lens. But I really wanted to use it to see uh, how it would look, what its uh, peculiar qualities are for being 60 years old. But um, yeah, it, it's frustrating. And it doesn't matter what I make on the channel. If I were to stop talking about politics altogether, it would still be siloed. I would still have my reach limited. So, for example, if I wanted to make videos about the uh, the camera lens that's on there, or the cameras that I've got, the old SLR cameras, photo photography, it's not going to reach anybody because I've been siloed. I've been moved out of normal YouTube, and I've been put in special YouTube for people that have the wrong opinions. It's horrible to think that an American company here in the United States would do that to someone, um, just for having the wrong opinions. It's really horrible to think about. It, uh, it doesn't feel very good at all. And I think about that, and I know there's a lot of people that go to some lengths to try and avoid having, you know, their history of what they're doing on the internet not tracked by Google. And I want to let you guys know that uh, you have a social credit score, too. They know what you're doing, even if you don't have a Google account. They're keeping track of your device. They know what you're doing on the internet because Google controls pretty much the entire internet. Whatever you're doing on the internet, they are the gatekeepers of everything. And they track your device. That's why people say to use a VPN. Um, it sort of works, I guess. I'm not sure. that Google has some pretty advanced technology. They may be able to, to know anyway it's you. But then again, maybe not. But, you know, so take some precautions beyond just not having a Google account if you don't want Google to track you because they are keeping a social credit score. And that's how you get siloed. Part of it anyway. If you're going to the wrong things, if you're consuming the wrong material, if you're uh, sharing the wrong opinions online, then you'll end up like me, siloed, and you won't be able to get out of it. And I, I don't know if, uh, I guess I could try it as an experiment. I sort of did. I made a couple other channels just to see what would happen. 
and they had no reach, which was frustrating because there's these like there's these communities out there for uh, people that are new to making YouTube channels. And they'll be like, I've been doing this a couple months and I'm getting like twenty five thousand views or something, or oh man, I only got a thousand views and it's like, gosh, I got like none, no reach whatsoever. It's like it doesn't exist. It just goes into the void. Of course, I made the mistake of using the same email address. So maybe if I just made an entirely different email address and then made another channel and started posting videos, I'd know. Is it uh, following me around? Of course, I'd still be using the same device, but maybe I could try using the iPad to upload videos instead. I, you know, maybe I'm going to try that as an experiment and see if I can break out of the silo. Of course, I can't make the same kind of content for that channel because, well it would immediately be siloed and <laughs> I wouldn't reach anybody anyway. So I can't talk about political things. But I just wanted to say that's why I haven't been making as many videos because I just don't see the point. I mean, again, I, I know there's a group of people, I, you know who you are, I know who you are, who come to every single video. And I don't know if it's because you're also siloed, so you don't, uh, I don't know how it works. Or maybe you found me before, or it's it's bizarre. I've tried this. I know for sure that uh, what YouTube is doing. I know that they're doing this. It's not just me. Because when I paid YouTube to advertise the channel, it grew by leaps and bounds. I think I gained, like, I doubled my subscribers. And then as soon as I stopped the uh, the campaign, because that cost money, it all went, it just stopped. I mean, I didn't lose the subscribers, but they never came back. It's like I just disappeared. And, you know, it stays the same. I'll gain some and as soon as I gain, like, let's say, and I'm talking like two subscribers or one subscriber in a week. Then I'll immediately, I'll lose one or two or however many it was. So it stays balanced. It never changes. Not really that much. Sometimes it'll slowly trickle down at times. But uh, yeah, I found that remarkable. <laughs> when I paid, it, it's like, okay, so if my videos actually get in front of people, they subscribe and they consume them uh, to a large degree. But as soon as I don't do that, then Google just throws me into the closet or the dungeon or whatever it is and... Nothing ever gets out. That's uh, that's a frustrating thing. And I, like I said, I wanted to warn you guys about that, that uh, you're being tracked too, whether you realize it or not. And they're assigning to you a social credit score. Remember when social credit scores were a terrible thing and everybody was all up in arms like, oh my gosh, China's got these social credit scores. This is the most horrible thing ever imaginable. Little did we know that here in the United States, they'd be coming up with more insidious social credit scores that um, would do this sort of thing and possibly ruin your entire life. I mean, for having the wrong opinions. In China, it's not possible to have the wrong opinion. I mean, people do. But if you tried to get on the Internet, you know, like they'll say, oh, well, if you're saying the wrong stuff on the Internet, you can't. You literally can't say the wrong things on the Internet in China. You try to post something and guess what? It just goes into the ether. It vanishes. It doesn't go through because they have, they literally block certain phrases. They block certain things. So you can't. And yeah, so there's no, like, I'm going to get on the internet and spout the wrong opinions and end up with a, a bad social credit score. Theirs is literally tied to your behavior, like crossing the street at the wrong time or trying to sneak on the train without a, a train ticket, you know, that sort of behavior. Criminal activity, fraud, that kind of stuff. That'll get you, I mean, a bad social credit score, if you want to call it that. It's interesting how they're trying to promote, you know, good behavior for society as opposed to us <laughs> where it's like you don't even know what you're doing is wrong. You're just doing what you've always done. You're you're having an opinion and uh, it's the wrong opinion when compared it's political, the kind of political incorrectness that Mao would have had, you know, what they would have called it. Political incorrectness means you don't have the correct opinions that go in line with who's in power. In this case, it's the Biden administration, I guess, uh, the deep state, some people would call it, which I have no idea what's going on with them, why they would want to promote these kinds of things, why they would want to do this here in America. It's only ruining the place. But I do take some courage knowing that uh, people are starting to recognize the problems, especially younger people who are coming into the adult life and realizing, oh my gosh, under these circumstances, I can't survive. I can't thrive. I can't get anywhere. This is terrible. 
well, you know, and they're they're opening their eyes and they're seeing it for what it is. They're they're not being tricked into. We just need to have communism and socialism. It's like no, nah, I'm no. That's what this is, and it's not working out. I need to you know have more of the capitalism that made all of you rich. That's what I'd like to have. Set me free to be able to you know build up my life. We need more entrepreneurs and we need more freedom for entrepreneurs. Is my opinion, but. Um, no one will ever hear that opinion because I've been siloed. And if I talk about it, then any other channel that I make will also be siloed. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys that sort of update. And hopefully I've been in focus the whole time so that you guys could actually see me on this old lens. We'll see what happens with that. I'll end it there. I'll see you guys in the next one whenever that happens to be. ไปพวงลงเฝ้า